Hi everyone, good evening. So so far we completed two investigations. One is uh, brute force attack. Uh, second one is VPN authentication failures. So third one is malware investigation to end user system. Here we can discuss about both false positive scenario and true positive scenario also. Okay. So malware investigation to the end user system that is false positive and also true positive. So here, uh, third tab I created one of the tab related to malware investigation. So as I said, two options or two scenarios we can discuss. One is false positive and a true positive. When I say false positive, it's a fake incident. So malware is not not caught compromised by end user system. Otherwise, end user system is not compromised by malware. <laughs> Second one is end user system is got compromised by malware. It is one of the very very favorite interrogation guys. So this one and also phishing email investigation. These two are very, very popular. Okay. So now malware investigation of end user system. So when you say end user system, laptop, MacBook, workstation, or desktop. Server wise, we can discuss separately. That is the fourth scenario. Server wise, we can discuss separately because business impact analysis and risk assessment is completely different. For end user system, it is completely different. Okay. So coming back, log sources for any malware category of the attacks, example, virus, swarm, Trojan, ransomware, adware, spyware, keylogger, mini catch, okay, logic bomb. All these category of the attacks will fall under malware. So for malware category of the attack or incidents, what are the different types of log sources logs we have to integrate it to SIM tool? So one is EDR. So EDR is the endpoint detection response. It will take care of the malware scanning. So we have seen already part of threat prevention is in SOFO CDR tool. So it has inbuilt <clears throat> feature of malware scanning mechanism and also HADS, HABS capability, even DLP capability also we have, file integrity monitoring and so on. So EDR is a mandatory and also primary tool for, so to integrate the logs to malware investigation part. It's very, very important. Number one tool is EDR. Okay, direct tool. Okay, second one is next generation firewall because email is coming as inbound traffic and also it is going as outbound traffic. In that scenario also, when the packet is entering or attachment is entering, firewall has a malware scanning mechanism. So that is either on-premise malware scanning mechanism or maybe cloud-based. Okay. So once that packet or malware attachment is entering into the respective firewall, Firewall, it will scan against signature or even it will scan against so behavioral pattern, nothing but machine learning capability. So we have seen IPS signatures in the firewall and also we have seen virus signatures. Okay, firewall has a capability of even malware scanning mechanism as well. So Can that is one of, that? That is one of the malware say? log source. So next one is malware analysis tools. When you say malware analysis tools, we have dedicated tools are available. Dedicated to malware analysis tool. Example, very, very popular tool is FI. FI is one of the very, very popular tool in the network level and also host level. Okay. So malware analysis tools also we have. Next one, email gateway. So email gateway, why we have to integrate phishing email? Okay, fine. Why we have to integrate email gateway logs to identify the malware? Anyone? What is the scenario? why we have to integrate or why email gateway as a log source for malware investigation or malware alerts anyone which scenario email gateway logs it will go to the sim tool and it will generate the alert notification anyone which scenario okay email logs will go to the sim tool and it will hit the malware related use case or correlation rule and finally alert will be generated anyone starting from phishing mail sir yeah especially for phishing email i'm not okay driver downloads is one of the option removable devices is one of the source okay so downloading something from the webnet is one of the source phishing email also one of the source for the malwares which scenario Okay, so phishing email related malware logs, it will go to the SIM tool and alert will be generated. Anyone? Which scenario? Sure, 
did not understand the question sir pair fish so what okay what times edr is one of the log source to integrate the logs to the sim tool in the similar way next generation firewall logs we can integrate to the sim tool malware analysis tools logs also we will integrate ids ips also we will create one of the policies related to malware so these are all the main direct log sources but in the email gateway which possible option it will go and it will generate the alert notification in the sim tool what the possible scenario phishing email means e email it will come that is smtp server logs or email logs when malware will appear when somebody uses a different domain no that is spoofing email spoofing yeah which scenario okay so malware alert will be generated in the email gateway logs if it is going to sim tool phishing e email malware as a attachment okay so i am repeating once again answer is phishing email as a attachment that is the scenario so once that email has any attachment example invoice copy invoice copy is also one of the fake invoice copies they will attach okay so once the user is downloading that particular invoice copy so that is nothing but email related logs in one more scenario any pdf document or any word document any okay so jp is a document or any photos all these is coming as email attachment if the end user is downloading that particular malicious or suspicious or abnormal related so that is nothing but email phishing email as a malware attachment that is the scenario phishing email as a malware attachment that is the scenario okay we have spear phishing we have veiling we have malicious malware link okay and so on but one of the scenario is phishing email as a malware attachment so this is one of the scenario we are going to discuss a part of even phishing email investigation also combination of both malware investigation and also phishing email investigation it's a very very popular one okay so that's why even we have to integrate email gateway logs also sim tool whenever any phishing email contains as a malware attachment in that scenario whenever user is downloading so those email gateway logs also will go to sim tool it will hit the respect to logic whatever we created as a part of correlation rule final alert will be generated so these are all the log sources now coming back so log sources what is log integration methods we will use anyone edr what is log integration method edr edr uh syslog sir syslog are you sure nowadays all the edr tools it's a part of saas based application whether saas based application will support syslog API. yes api token yeah if it is on premise edr tool yes i will agree with you syslog that's correct but nowadays all edr tools are completely cloud based saas based application it's a api token if it is on premise edr tool yes i will agree with you it's a syslog okay now what about next generation firewall next generation firewall what is the log integration method syslog syslog yes so next one is malware analysis tools what is the log integration method syslog sir network syslog yes syslog so anyway syslog already created email gateway now it is email gateway also most of the cases saas based application example proof point iron port iron port otherwise mime cast office 365 defender email gateway okay so all these are complete so for so for phishing email what is the method saas so api token api token correct ids ips network ids network ips it is on syslog yes that's correct so these are all the two log integration methods okay so you should and this is implementation level even log integration method is nothing but implementation level but you are aware of these log integration methods as well back end logical flow also okay so now log collector so log collector from these log sources logs it will use api token management method and also syslog method it will collect the logs and it will complete normalization 
aggregation parsing and those logs it will send it to the log manager so log manager it will complete indexing querying and filtering back and they have correlation rule engine will be there okay back and they have correlation rule engine will be there that correlation rule engine will be logic we have to define related to malware investigation because we are discussing it's about a malware investigation logic also we have to configure related to malware okay category example definition virus or malware detected we are not sure whether it is a false positive or true positive virus or malware is detected any virus is a part of malware so just we can remove virus or malware detected and the signature and is a boolean algebra function signature every sim tool vendor they have their own signatures will be there signatures so all those signatures we have to keep example q radar q radar has q id q id is belongs to malware signature all those q id numbers we have to keep q id 2000 series 3000 series 4000 series 5000 series 6000 series and so on okay so that's why whenever they will forget about incident investigation now whenever they will ask in i mean do you know how to create correlation rule or did you create any time correlation rule so already i created one of the document i am not sure how many people has gone through this particular document so out of these five at least you can remember one of the logical creation part either this one or maybe this one or maybe this one or whatever you like yes i created a correlation rule yes i created a correlation rule example failures from disabled account so what is the logic this is the logic don't go with the complex based okay virus detected malware detected sql injection related correlation rule creation take a simple one and explain that one in the correlation rule creation point of view so i given total five and also tomorrow i will upload related to exabim tool also those correlation rule also so whatever you like prepare only one that one itself for every interview you can explain okay so these are also compulsory interview question do you know how to create correlation rule or did you create any correlation rule so this is the logic so here now so many interview questions are covering guys so first one is log integration what are the log sources for malware that is one of the i mean entire question log integration method is entire question and also log collector log manager and also sam tool it is sam architecture or sam tool a components otherwise so normalization aggregation parsing this is one of the entire question indexing querying and filtering this is one of the entire question correlation rule creation this is one of the entire question so many entire questions we are discussing now it's a part of so how the alert will be generated how the alert will be generated okay now based on this logic whenever user is doing drive by downloads of the malware attachment or maybe is clicking on the phishing email malware attachment or maybe end user is copying through pen drives or removable devices or memory stick some of the files so that is one of the possible scenario whenever the end user is downloading malicious url link that is script based controls so these are all the source sources of the malware now once that file is downloaded in that scenario malware will be installed and executed finally command and control will go to the attacker or hacker or intruder as per cyber kill chain process okay so cyber kill chain process so command and once it is getting compromised as a malware if antivirus agent is sleeping if if antivirus agent is unknown if antivirus status agent is inactive status so these are all the possible scenarios why system will get compromised already we are using edr agent we have seen sophos edr agent or sophos edr sensor so we will download that edr agent so we'll install on each and every end user machine like a laptop or macbook or workstation or desktop right so once the user is downloading in case that antivirus or edr agent is showing status unknown or inactive okay or maybe it is bypassing in that scenario that system will get compromised if you don't do regular patch updates also possible scenario is there your system will get compromised so why it is getting compromised 
due to antivirus agent is bypassing or due to antivirus or EDR agent is unknown status or maybe EDR or antivirus agent status inactive or maybe antivirus or EDR agent is sleeping. So these are all the possible scenarios why the system will get compromised due to malware. Okay. Now, once that state EDR agent sleeping or inactive or unknown, in that scenario, once the user is downloading the file, so that malicious software program code installed and executed, and also finally replication will happen within the system. If it is vi virus, what means it will replicate to other systems as well through networking protocols. Finally, system will get compromised. Okay. So now command and control go to the hacker. So maybe he will copy the data. In that sense, DLP logs also very, very important. So DLP logs also, we have to keep it as a optional if something got compromised. Okay, optional log source is DLP also. If any data breach, this is mainly applicable to true positive scenario. Now, once that alert is received in SIM tool, so now we have to go and we have to analyze whether really false positive and true positive. So this is the back end process, guys. How the malware alert will be generated. That may be virus, that may be worm, that may be Trojan, that may be backdoor, that may be adware, spyware, ransomware, keylogger, okay, logic bomb, botnet, mimic catch, all these category of the attacks, whatever malware category are there, for every attack back and process, same as it is. Okay, log source are same as it, because 14 or 15 attacks are there under malware category. So tomorrow morning, we are going to discuss about ransomware attack. Log source, once again, same as it is. Log sources, once again, same as it is. Okay, so that is about back end process. Now, once that alert will be generated, so we are not sure whether it's a false positive or true positive. After analyzing the logs, then only you will come to know whether it's a false positive or true positive. Now, option one, it's a false positive, malware investigation. Option two is a malware investigation, true positive. False positive is nothing but fake incident. Nothing happened to our end user system, like a laptop or MacBook or workstation desktop. True positive, something is got compromised. Why it is got compromised, when it is got compromised, how it is got compromised, what attacker has done. So that analysis we have to do. So now we are going to discuss about these two scenarios. One is false positive, one is true positive. Everything you have to explain now. Now you know what is malware, you know what is cyber culture and process, you know what are the log sources are there, you know where to upload the files, and you know what are the backend detection methods are there for virus scanning or malware scanning. Okay, now you have to give the total overall end-to-end -end process, what will you do? So first we are going with option one. Okay, malware investigation is a pulse positive. Okay, once again, I'm saying, this is completely tool-based malware investigation. When you say tool-based malware investigation, so without any, I mean, with the tool, we are investigation everything. That may be EDR logs, that may be firewall logs, that may be IDS IPS logs, that may be email gateway logs. We have manual malware investigation also there. What the difference between automated malware investigation and manual malware investigation, anyone? How you'll come to know that something is got compromised? Malware with manual process without we'll, any EDR and antivirus tool. We'll go to firewall. Without any EDR, antivirus tool, without any firewall also. Without any security tools. How can you do manual malware investigation? Without any security tool that may be on the endpoint level, that may be on the network level that may be in the application level. So how can you do manual malware investigation? How can you receive the alert? Anyone? Okay, that we can explain tomorrow morning, I'll explain. Okay, forget about manual malware investigation. That is also one of the very, very popular interrogation. Without any security tool, how can you do manual malware investigation? Without EDR tool, without next generation firewall, without IDS IPS, without email gateway, without web application firewall. That I will explain tomorrow. 
okay now whatever investigation we are discussing it's a tool based when i say tool based so we have edr logs are there we have firewall logs are there we have malware analysis tools logs are there we have email gateway logs and also ids ips logs are there so nothing but all these different types of tools are there so we can go and we can see the action okay now coming back once this particular alert is received in any of the sim tool that may be ibm q radar that may be splunk that may be hp arcsa that may be exabeam or mcafe and so on so what will you do first step first step what will you do i allocate to myself yes that is repeated guys that's what i said first five steps are same as it is first three or four steps same as it is okay up to six steps are same as it is it will not change this count for every instant whatever you received so whatever 50 to 60 attacks we discussed all those 50 to 60 attacks so every instant investigation first six to seven steps are same as it is okay that may be ransomware that may be sql injection that may be cross site scripting that may be phishing email and so on so these steps are same as it is every time alert will come through email notification or maybe three sim dashboard so that is the first thing alert notification after that you will assign the ticket to yourself so third one is you will go and you will create ticket in the ticketing tool example itsm tools what is itsm what is itsm information technology service management perfect information technology service management tools nothing but third party ticketing tools service now jira bst remedy hp okay xor these are all the couple of ticketing tools you will go and you will create ticket in the ticketing tool later okay you will classify the instant whether it is a malware or whether it is a virus whether it is a worm or whether it is ransomware and so on so in the alert itself will come to know whether the virus or worm or trojan or malware or backdoor and so on okay so these six steps are same as it is guys for every attack tomorrow i will ask same question okay so first step what will you do in the incident investigation once the alert is received same as it is i will go and i'll create ticket in the ticketing tool i'll classify the incident and after that i'll gather the information related to trias or incident so go back to malware investigation now i am putting same as it is copy paste here so i will change the numbering part it is wrong <clears throat> okay now so first instant or offenses will be received through email notification or sim dashboard after that you will assign the ticket to yourself i will acknowledge the email okay next one is i will go and i'll create in ticketing the ticketing tool okay as per instant management process classify the instant what is the instant name here malware okay classify the instant as a malware i will classify the instant as a malware gather the trias of the instant so what all information will gather same as it is so we will gather so ioc and ioa so ip address 10.10.10.1 same we can take username because we are discussing about end user system now not server what use case we are discussing now use case is end user system is got compromised or may false positive or true positive okay laptop or macbook or workstation or desktop take example laptop so i'll put same as it is mahesh laptop itself so ip address is 10.10.10.1 mac address location example log source what is log source here what is log source edr yeah all the log sources example edr next generation firewall okay email gateway malware analysis tools okay ids ips now event time stamp okay event time stamp is so example so and so date date and time okay whether authentication will be there or something else will be there here so this is not be there action will be there so we'll see that one later it will change this one 
event id is not applicable because it's not authentication successful or failure login type also not applicable payload will be there top five events will be there so this is about okay so indicator of compromise indicator of attacker so whether malware category of the attacks indicator of attacker is applicable or not yes or no no sir why it is not no why it is yes if it it comes in the format of files right so we scan the files okay example one it. of the yes yeah, sorry to interrupt you one of the end user is sending an email phishing email in that scenario ip address will be there sender ip address yes and even you are doing drive by downloads application website has one of the ip address as well drive by downloads also only for pen drive copying i will agree with you for pen drive copying it will not be their ip address but remaining all other scenarios ip address will be there okay so that one we have to treat as a indicator of attacker so drive by downloads what are application you are downloading so from which website example google.com or google drive you are downloading one of the file that file has contains malware that is nothing but drive by download so maybe you are going to youtube one of the movie you are downloading that is also drive by download that file has the malware youtube IP, youtube has ip address backend mapped ip address okay indicator of attack information is there that doesn't mean that attacker is doing the attack okay so here destination and source so example attacker ip address yes it will be there example 1.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1. country location wherever the application is hosted or wherever phishing email is sending an email okay the country or location example north korea so north korea russia ukraine okay so uh, next one is pakistan so these are the couple of countries regularly they will do cyber attacks guys north korea russia ukraine okay pakistan okay so these are all the another two countries are there so these countries regularly they will do cyber attacks okay so now status status forget about status what is the additional information you will gather other than these things other than these things what are the additional information you will gather what are the information you will gather domain sir not you see i am giving the example only these information basically there are a lot more than information you will get it so domain yes domain if it is a drive band downloads yes domain so x dot x dot maybe i will give maybe google.com or whatever example.com i'll give example.com main important information you are not saying important information file, you are not file saying. format yes Max. exactly yes file details so file details are very very important yesterday also i told you so for malware category of the attacks first thing is very very important information we have to gather file name file size file category and also where is the file path where the file is downloaded first of all whether it is downloaded or not okay so file name file size file category okay file path file format also so example file name is test.dll this one of the file dot dll is one of the dangerous file dot dll extension is one of the dangerous file file size example 500 kb okay file category so it's microsoft example file path c program files users your name of the user example mahesh in this scenario downloads so file name example test.dll so nothing but in this c drive program files users under the username is mahesh laptop under the downloads he downloaded one of the file test.dll so this is the way how the file path looks like where the file is downloaded other than this information what is additional information one more thing we can see anyone very very important thing 
MAC address. MAC address is there already. Here you can see MAC address. One of important information. IP address, IP address also there. Event, here. event ID, sir. Event ID will not be there for the okay, malware category of the attacks. It's applicable to only Windows. EDR tool, what is the functionality? Next generation firewall tool, what is the functionality? Network IPS, what is the functionality? And also malware analysis tool, what is the functionality? All these four tools has one of the common point. What is that common point? Forget about ideas. What is the common point for all these tools? EDR tool, network IPS, malware analysis tool. Okay, next one is WAF, even WAF also. WAF. Okay, next generation firewall. What is the common functionality of all these Action. five tools? Excellent. Perfect answer. Action is very, very important, guys. The action. What is the status when the user is downloading? Whether it is a reset or whether it is a blocked or whether it's a deny or whether it is a quarantine. Okay. So whether it is a packet dropped or whether it's allowed. So these are the different types of status. According to that action only, we can conclude that whether it is a false positive and true positive. I told you already EDR tool discussion part, that time itself. Even firewall practical also I have, I have shown you one of the log. Okay, example. See, I'm giving this is just the information, but we can gather a lot of information. If it's a firewall logs, we can see policy name, policy ID, what is source zone, what is destination zone. Okay. So even hexadecimal format, for, there are a lot of other information also. This is the generic way I'm giving these are all the information. Most of the cases, parsed log contains. So in the Portinet firewall, so just you can log in this one. EDR tool also. One of the log I have shown you. There are a lot of information we can see. We have to go to which tab, anyone? Which tab we have to go to verify the logs? To verify the logs. Importunate firewall. Tab, huh? Alert step, you'll do investigation, but if you want to get in depth analysis, in depth analysis of the logs, log and report, guys. Monitor tab, what is, what is the tab? Log and report tab, forwarded traffic. Okay. I have shown practical examples also, right? Couple of, even a couple of scenarios also we discussed. Source IP, destination IP filtered out, right? So this is, these are all the logs, all, these are all completely firewall logs. These logs only will go to SIM tool. Once the user is downloading something from the website. So that log, it will appear in the firewall as well. Okay, these logs all will go to SIM tool and the SIM tool, it will hit the logic and it will generate the alert notification. Okay, so take one of the example of this log. So this is the, all these are raw log. This raw log only, it will completely forward it to the SIM tool. It will come, it will complete parse log, parsing will happen. Okay, so this, this is example. So and I, whatever I give in generic way, this is common. So most of the parser log, it contains this information only. Even IBM Curator are also one of the attachment I given. Okay. So this information only. So every action also will be there for firewall, denied or allow. Okay. So here itself, you can see. Result, accept. Example, maybe this user. So this user is 10.88.10399. Consider this is one of the end user machine. One of the end user machine. He downloaded some of the, okay, so Amazon based. This EC2 means Amazon. So Amazon based one of the maybe uploaded file. In Amazon, he uploaded file or maybe he downloaded the file. In that scenario, that file has malware now. All those logs we can see here now. What is the file uploaded? Where, where is the uploaded? What the policy it is created in the firewall? Okay, everything we can see. What the policy name here? So policy name is policy ID. This is the policy ID. 
ISFW van. Okay. So now every time, whenever any malware category of the attacks will come, first thing is we have to see action. The action is accepted here now. So if that file has malware example and the action is accepted, what is mean by this one now? What is mean by this one now? Compromised. Exactly, it's compromised. It's compromised now. Because action in between source and destination connection is established between the end user 10.8.188.103.99 to the Amazon. So that file example. So firewall is not blocked the activity, even though it's a malicious malware file. That's it, but it has got compromised. Okay. So in such a way, not to, just main priority is EDR tool. Second tool is next generation firewall. Okay. So now, so this information we have to see what the first thing is whenever any alert will come, what the action as per the log source, log source. What is the log source you have to identify? Very, very important thing is what is the log source name and what is the action? These two are very, very important guys. According to this one only, we can conclude whether there is a false positive and true positive. Deny or block example. Now what is the status, deny or block? 10.10.10.1 Mahesh is downloaded test.dll file from 1.1. application from example.com website. Okay, so that file is downloaded under the C programs users Mahesh downloads under test.dll. So action is deny or block. What is the conclusion now? What is the conclusion? Okay. Exactly. It is a false positive now. Okay. So seventh step is false positive based on the firewall action or EDR action. Based on the EDR or firewall or any other log source action is showing deny or block or Reset is allowing or blocking. Reset. Reset. Example, maybe firewall instead of accept here. So packet is showing is reset. Result is reset. Action is reset. What is mean by that one? Whether blocking or allowing. What is mean by that one? Reset. So now example, instead of action, deny or allow or deny or block. So firewall is showing example reset. What do you mean by this one? Anyone? Blocked. What is what is that? Blocked. 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 No. Are you sure? Compromised, I think. No, it's a block that correct. It's a deny or blocked. So nothing but in this scenario, 10, yeah, whatever you said, block, that's correct. 10.10.10.1, 1.1.1. So when the user is trying to access example.com website, TCP three-way handshake is not completed. So packet is dropped in between. So once again, it is trying to connection establish. Reset, freshly it will start once again connection, newly. Packet is dropping or packet retransmission, it will happen continuously. So reset is nothing but blocked only. So reset, or deny or block or packet dropped. So if status you are seeing these type of things, nothing but blocked only. It's a pulse positive now. Most of the people will do this one only guys. So as I said, out of 100 instance, 98 to 99 instance are pulse positive only. So even they will not study everything also. They will go and they will say, what the action? So what the action reset? Okay, it's a pulse positive. Some of the format will be there. This is the way how to put the comments, copy paste. Even for making a summary of the report also copy paste. Only we have to change this information only every time. Only we have to change this information only. Everywhere for every instant investigation, by default, template will be there. If malware category, this is the template we have to follow. Brute force attack, this is the template we have to follow. So SQL injection attack, this is the template we have to follow. This is the way how to update the comments. 
So it's very simple. Only cracking the interior is a little bit complicated. First one or two months, you will feel difficult. After that, it's very easy. Okay. So everywhere copy paste only. So now, so later, what will you do now? Based on the EDR or firewall or any other log source action showing as a DNA or block or reset or packet dropped, I will conclude instant as a false positive. Later, what you after doing the pulse positive analysis, what will you do now? Okay, now the analysis is complete, investigation is complete. Later, what will you do? We'll write the summary in the things. What the evidence you will put it in this scenario? A screenshot of EDR block. Exactly, that's correct. Screenshot of EDR blocked or firewall is blocked. That's perfect. So I will attach the evidence. of EDR or firewall blocked screenshot, okay, as a evidence. So finally, we can make a summary of the report. I can make a summary of the report. Okay, I will update the comments. So comments or notes are very important, guys. So comments or notes also everywhere copy paste only. One instant investigation, you will done it. You will do it. So then you will make it okay. 10 instance regularly you will receive. So everywhere, even comments also copy paste only. Finally, I will close the incident. So this is very straightforward and it's a very simple, false positive. But this is not a most challenging instant investigation. What you are doing, everything tool is giving. Tool action also show, showing. Now you are doing a simple analysis and you are completing. There is no complexity is there. You are explaining these type of things, you will not satisfy. Okay. You are explaining only pulse positive scenario. We are thinking that zero to four years of experienced people. You are explaining only this one. They will not satisfy. They will expect even instant response also. When you say instant response, you have to explain about even containment, eradication, mitigation, recovery lessons learned. That is also they'll expect. So whoever is a part of L1, you can explain up to here, but I, have, I do have the knowledge on, okay, how to resolve the issues as L2 level. Okay. So you have to explain that containment process also as instant response. When you see instant response, enter instant investigation you are completing, and also your product response also, mitigation. So now option two, we can discuss. Option two, malware investigation, true positive, something got compromised. So as I said, up to here, same as it is. What it will different anyone? What it will different? The action is accepted. Yes, allowed. accepted or allowed. Yeah.
I could not hear anyone. Me too. I have some internet issues. Yeah, he might be facing some power issues. Yeah, yeah. He, he already left the meeting. Just let us wait for the update. Apologies, guys. Power has gone. I'm connected through mobile data. Give me one second. Let me check one second. So here we can see, am I audible? Yes. Yes, sir, you're yes, audible. Sir. Okay, thank you. So here we can see action is accepted and allowed. So now, so once this action is accepted, so nothing but it is end user system is got compromised. So end user meaning here, either laptop or MacBook or workstation desktop, even server also, sometimes we can call it endpoint, but server investigation is little bit different because their business impact analysis and risk assessment is different. Now, okay. What is the next step you will follow? Anyone? What is the next step you will follow? What next step you will follow? You know, file name, you know, file size, you know, file category, you know, file path, and so on. Even hash value also we can see now. Along with this one, we can see hash value also. So, example. A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, D, E, F, G, H. OK, this is the hash value of the file. Now, what will you do? Anyone? First, we'll block the hash value in EDR. OK, without confirmation, you will go and you will block directly whether that file has a malware no, no, or no. not. I will first take the file and check it in virus total. Mm -hmm. If I get any malware score there, then I'll take the hash value and block it. Already hash value also showing here. So now I have one question, Kranti. It's a perfect answer you given. I have now a lot of questions back to you. This is the way how the normal in the interview they will ask. Why you are uploading the file in the virustotal.com? It's a public website. In case that file doesn't have any malware, so that file has a sense to data is there. Why are you uploading public websites? Maybe virus total come website, whoever is managing those people, they can see your confidential data. I'll do or, this virus total scan using my EDR access. Okay, okay, EDR, because the EDR tool is integrated with virus total.com. Okay, so then you will see the what is the web dicta of the respective file. Do you mean that? Yeah, I mean that because uh, my EDR okay. is already inbuilt with the virus total mm -hmm. tools. Mm. integrated with it. So I'll check the verdict of the file at EDR tool. Yeah, one more option is it's a perfect answer. Already hash value is there. Why can't you take the hash value and you can go to directly? Okay, so virustotal.com. You yeah, already file hash value is there. So why can't you go and upload the directly hash value? Did you check the hash value option is there or not? That's why, said you, that's why I said you can play with the tool. Sorry, we can't hear you. Hello? Yes, sir. Sorry, your voice is not no. audible. 
Yeah, now it's audible. Sorry, guys, I got a call and the mobile is disconnected. Give me one second. Yeah, can you see file hashed here? Yes. URL, IP address, domain file hash. No, no. So there is no need to take the file manually from the end user machine and uploading the file option here. Directly, we can take the hash value and we can check using hash value method. So that is the beauty of EDR tool. But if you are using traditional antivirus, we cannot see hash value. So before maybe till 2018, so we have to take the file and we have to analyze manually. So that time there is no integration with virustotal.com. There is no integrate with MyTree framework. There is no integration with hybridanalysis.com and even malware analysis tools. Nowadays, EDR tool has the capability of integrating with these tools also. Okay. So directly we can take the hash value and we can check using hash value method. So once we are putting hash value here, file hash, so then we can go and we can see how many customer, how many tools they are giving verdict. According to that one, we can see the overall reputation of the file. Okay, so in case, unfortunately, file hash value we are not able to see. What will you do? In the log, file hash value is not able to see. Hello. Yes, sir. We can get the hash value from EDR. In case EDR, okay, EDR tool is not showing any file hash value in that scenario. Example, this is not showing. What will you do? Okay, it will come, but I'm asking back. So how you are thinking logically? I want to check it. That's why. This is the way how they will ask logically. So example of EDR tool doesn't have the hash value. File doesn't showing hash value. What will you do? IP address is there, sir. Okay, IP address, you will check the IP verification, not file verdict, right? You will check the IP address only, but you, you malware will come through files. Malware will come through files. Anyone? Now, EDR truly has a concept of, okay, integrating virustotal.com and so on. So you have to say sandboxing environment. Why you are not saying that? Sandboxing environment. What is sandboxing environment? The hardware implemented at our uh, mm. things, which can do yeah. the thing, which we can upload. Yes, exactly. Testing machine, testing server of the antivirus tool. So instead of uploading file and taking from the remote machine, if file doesn't have the hash value, so instead of uploading the public websites, I will go and upload in my testing of the antivirus tool that is called sandboxing environment. There I can go and I can see. So whether that file has any malware infection is there or not. Otherwise malware analysis tools. I can go and I can, uh, I can uh, submit. Even still you are not able to identify that file has malware or not. So. We have seen Nessus tool also upload the samples of the malware. EDR tool also upload the files. You are suspecting that file has a malware, but unfortunately tools are giving wrong information. We can submit our samples to the EDR tool or firewall tool or Nessus tool also. These are all the options are available. Upload samples of malware files. Did you remember that option? Upload malware samples. What file you are suspecting, we have to upload those files. Then, so vendor itself, now he will go and he will analyze. But unfortunately, that file has any malware. I mean, unfortunately, that file has any critical data, now vendor will see. That is not recommended one. Okay. So sandboxing is the correct answer. Sandboxing is the correct answer. If hash well doesn't, I mean, if hash well is not reflecting in the alert, Am I audible? Yeah, yeah. Yes, I am okay. audible, sir. Okay, fine. So these are all the couple of logical way how they will ask. 
So now, how can you take the file manually from the remote machine now? Okay, hash value is not there. Okay, forget about this one. EDR tool has a hash value, but we are discussing about a couple of scenarios now. So only file you know, but hash value you don't know. Hash value is not showing in the log. So you know respect to file. Okay, where is the path of the file? How can you take the file and you can upload in the virustotal.com or sandboxing environment? Anyone? How can you take the file? Whether this is file is existing in your machine? It will be at the end user. Then how can you take the file? We can. Can we give path, sir? We cannot give path. Path will not accept it. Path is so how tool will accept path? It will not accept it. I'll contact the Windows team. Okay, which Windows team? Okay, we're supporting for example, we Providence Health Morning we discussed. Okay, now you are part of Infosys company and you are part of SOC team. Which Windows team will contact? Client to Windows, I can't. Uh, exactly. This is the way they will ask back, guys. That's why I'm discussing about so many scenarios. I want to cover all these scenarios. So they will ask back so many logical way. So how can you take the file? For, so the here, so EDR tool has this option, but in case in the log hash value doesn't there, I mean, hash value is not there, not showing. How can you go and verify the file has infection or not? If you want to verify the file, obviously you should have the file with you, then only you can verify, right? How can you take the file? from the respect to end user machine. Why you are not saying point of contact? Morning we discussed one of the options is called point of contact. Did you remember? Yes. So you can contact your point of contact from Infosys company, whoever is sitting in the Providence Health on Organization site. in the on-site. Yeah. He will take the file directly. He will go to the employee. So example, Mahesh in this scenario, then he will take the file. How he will take the file from employee to the, okay, that's fine. Your friend is there, he is sitting in Providence Health, you know, on-premise or data center. How he will take the file and he will send it to you now, question. He will contact the Windows team there, or the client, or the okay. end user. Yeah, directly can go and he can contact the end user, that's okay. But permission is there now. He can go and he can contact the respect to team. Forget the Windows team now. So how can he will take the file? Whether he will use a pen drive or some other source, what is the source he will use? Hmm? Okay, so for suppose... So SFTP one is the possible option, but SFTP server also will get compromised, right? If the file has an infection, you are right. SFTP server. So SFTP server, so you are copying the file from end user machine to SFTP server or file server. File server also will get compromised. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. Hmm. In that scenario? Okay, password protected file, guys. Password protected file. So we have to take the file. So, okay, one possible option is on behalf of us, director or point of contact has to do instant investigation. Okay, so he has to copy through pen drive that file. Okay, so from testing mission of the client, now he has to go to sandboxing environment so then he has to copy the file. So SFTP server we are copying that SFTP server also will get compromised. So that is possible. So for this answer, password protected file. So nothing but whatever file it is got compromised, we have to give right click and we have to give one encrypted password. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now hash value will change. 
take that file now. Then ask your point of contact forward that email to you. And you can open your email in the testing machine. Wherever that the antivirus tool is open or sandboxing environment is there. Are you following me? Are yeah, you following yeah. me? Yes, sir. Okay, so what we have to do in this scenario, so that point of contact or maybe directly, I can take the remote session, guys. Forget about point of contact. So I can go, example, I have directly contact is there with the employee. Then I can take a remote session. Example, right now I'm taking remote session to you. I'm sharing my screen. I will ask employees to share his screen. Then I will take a control. Then wherever file option is there, so file password protected option will be available. Then there you can give encrypted password like a one, two, three, four, five, six. Then from his machine, ask him to send an email or maybe directly upload in the Outlook. Okay, maybe email or Outlook. Or maybe even SFTP server also we can copy. So these are the three options. One is through sending an email. One is through SFTP server copying. Or maybe directly through chat window. We can upload the file. We can do ourselves. So now, once that file has come, we should not decrypt the file now. What we have to do now? We should not decrypt in our system. Like one, two, three, five, six. We have to download, but we should not open in our system. Why we should not open in our system? Our system gets compromised. Exactly. Our system will get compromised. Our system will get compromised. So then what we have to do? So we have to download the file. Okay, so otherwise, we have to go testing machine wherever the sandboxing environment is available. There you can open your email. www. Okay, outlook. dot three sixty five. dot com. Then you can enter your username and password. There you can download directly file. Then you can decrypt the file. This is the option, guys. Hope everybody understood what it is say. Then you yes, can sir. analyze manually. Then you can analyze manually. This is the way how in depth they will ask for malware category. This is the way how in depth. So a lot of questions back they will ask. So how can you identify the file? And also if hash value doesn't there, what will you do? How can you take the file from the remote machine or employee laptop? Now EDR is to, tool is doing everything. Now without EDR tool, how can you do manual way? They'll expect this one also. They'll expect this one also. So these are all the possible scenarios. Okay. So here we'll get a lot of more than 10 back questions to us. So what is the final answer? In case, so EDR tool doesn't generate any, okay, hash value. Then we have to take the file using password protected. Then we have to upload we we have to go to our respective sandboxing environment wherever server is there or virtual machine is there we have to open our email account okay then we have to download file then we have to upload the file in the respective sandboxing environment so this is the overall conclusion guys once you are coming as a verdict now verdict is showing as example malware infected file what will you do after that after that, what will you do? Will you do containment or not? First of all, here. I will do containment. First thing is containment is a mandatory. Okay, next one. Take the hash value and blah. Nowadays, EDR tool, uh, I have seen Cisco AMP. It's one of the EDR tool. That EDR tool has a capability, even file also we can see. There is no need to contact the end user also. So here there are two things we are discussing. One is manual way, how we have to collect the file from the end user machine. One is through EDR tool. EDR tool has a capability of file, whatever it is coming to our user is downloaded. That also we can see nowadays. Okay, I will do containment. 
so then i will take the hash value from the edr tool or sm tool logs and will upload in virustotal.com what is another tool to check the hash value hybrid analysis yes, yes, yes. exactly hybridanalysis.com to check the reputation of the file okay so then i will take the hash value from the edr tool or sm tool okay sm tool logs and will upload in virustotal.com and hybridanalysis.com to check the reputation of the file whether it is infected by malware or not whether it is infected by malware or not so that is the one so based on the results based on the results i came to know that file got infected by malware okay file got infected by malware later what will you do take the hash value and block it in the edr before that before that before that what will you do preparing some root, root cause analysis directly root what is about mitigation guys why you are not saying mitigation you say only containment and the investigation what about mitigation before going to hash well what will you do don't you delete the file in the end user machine don't you delete the file from end user machine or not yes we do delete yes i will delete the file from end user machine okay then i will take the hash value and will block it in edr tool so then what else what else additionally you will do is there any other mitigation other than this one other than this one any other mitigation what is hash value you are blocking one file you are deleting is there any other mitigation we have to consider how is this file coming sir through email sorry no how is this file coming what is the uh, tactics used sir? so we have to based on that yeah that's okay that fine that is root cause analysis everything will make it before that so here we have to rerun the antivirus scans make sure that still infection is existing rerun the antivirus scans still infection is existing okay and also we have to change the password also better change the password of the end user okay so then recovery phase recovery phase what will you do recovery will bring it back to normal operation what will be normal operation here will bring it back to normal operation from abnormal to normal malware got infection is abnormal normal normal operation is so it's a clean now machine is clean normal op normal operation and also will analyze dlp logs and firewall logs is there any lateral movement and also what level of the data he copied this is common for every investigation guys dlp logs and firewall logs is common for everybody i mean every investigation what level of the data he copied and also what level of the firewall i mean is there any other system is got compromised as a lateral movement 
okay so dlp locks we'll analyze dlp locks and firewall locks to check whether any data copied and also infection went to other machine as a outbound connections based on the outbound connections i will come to know that so what happened so finally what will you do prepare i will prepare rtc yes root cause analysis so this is after that i will submit to the client now i have one question now why it is got compromised what the answer you will give now you are explain practically this scenario in the interview point of view the what is it status mm -hmm. is sleeping Mm. or the version may be older version mm. status of the antivirus majorly okay that is the correct yeah so up regularly patch updates are not happening okay so that is one thing i found out and also antivirus is bypassed why antivirus is bypassed and i analyzed because latest antivirus signature it's not updated antivirus agent version is not updated that is the reason once the user is downloaded the file then it is got compromised this is very logical guys why it is got compromised is very very important most of the people there they will completely so they'll get confusion why it is got compromised what we have how to give the answer so you should aware of why it is got compromised meaning here regularly patch updates are not happening and also end user is not switching off the system or shut downing of the system couple of people so daily what they will do so 6 o'clock or 9 o'clock sorry 9 to 6 example 9 o'clock they will switch on the system so 6 o'clock once the shift is completed or once their work is completed so they will put in sleep mode mode they will put in sleep mode they will not shut down not even so weekly ones if you don't shut down regularly how patch update One second. One second. Patch updates will happen, and also reg. Sorry, guys. I'm getting calls and this internet connectivity issue. Sorry. Patch updates will happen, and also once that patch patch updates, we have to reboot the system, guys. Couple of end users, they will not shut down the system at all. How the patch updates will happen? because of the reason maybe antivirus is sleeping maybe because of the reason antivirus status is unknown and also latest and so these are all the possible scenarios why it is got compromised why it is got compromised is it clear why it is got compromised why it is got compromised is it clear Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Then finally, we have to document everything, and we have to present to the client. I will review with my SOC manager, and after that, I will present to the customer. Will you with my my SOC manager, and after approval. i will schedule call with we'll present the root cause analysis okay this is about overall using tool how we can do instant investigation okay so this is one of the very 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 popular interview question my recommendation to you you can explain this one only my recommendation okay to you you can explain malware investigation or ransomware investigation or maybe sql injection att attack and so on out of these two you can don't go for brute force this is my request 
and don't go for phishing email phishing email you can go but we, how to go and where to go and how to explain that i will explain later so always you have to take the complicated one and difficult one and you have to explain 100% you are explaining this one in proper way so 99% of the chances are there to you are you are clearing the interview guys so if you are explaining the instant investing yes please this comes from the technical sir yeah this technical okay uh, this is the last scenario we will face this one i'm sorry could you, could you please repeat pasha this is technical one only yeah yeah my audible guys yes sir you are audible yes okay. okay fine thanks so this is compulsory interview question guys this is compulsory interview question if you are explaining this one in the proper way so 80 to 90 percent of the chances are there you are selecting for the interview first round of the interview this is the very very complicated question and if i explain this one in the proper way more chance that they to clear the interview along with this one what is your roles and responsibilities and do you know how to create correlation rule what is maitri framework what is cyber kill chain process remaining couple of attacks and also ports and protocols every interview they will ask this one only these are the regular interview questions okay so what is the now top i mean what i will give to you you can prepare this one to me malware investigation compromised server both false positive and true positive malware investigation false positive true positive scenario what will you do can you make a report and can you give it by tomorrow evening uh, sure sir did you get it what did i say sir once again please so what i am saying yes, malware investigation to the server okay false positive scenario true positive scenario you can make a note you can make a note nothing but what exactly you will do once the alert is received take any of the file name and take any of the ip address take any of the file size file category and so on so i can i need past tense not future tense past tense you can explain you can make one Not compromised by malware. That is nothing but true positive. Server is not got compromised by malware. That is nothing but false positive. So this one investigation in the past tense. Can you give and can you make a notes and can you give it to me by tomorrow yes. evening? Sure, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. am i audible guys from my side or your side no from your side only breaking voice yeah so here still internet issue give me one okay guys i will uh, anyway paste it in whatsapp group just you can go through that and finally uh, hello sir yes, audible sir you are yes, audible sir. yes sir yeah you can make that investigation and you can explain by tomorrow evening and you can share the document with me and here i attach two interview questions document are you able to see my screen yes sir yes so yeah sark interview questions one sark interview questions two so this more than 20 to 30 interviews so many people are attended so this is from 13th batch 14th batch 12th batch so whoever is attended all those people interview questions i made a summary and finally so i attached here please go through these documents also this is a very 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 valuable documents guys so tcs interview questions infosys interview questions wipro interview questions capgemini accenture mindtree 
delight so almost all the companies so these two documents please go through all these documents as well so 55 pages 55 pages total 110 pages are there if you are reading this one and you are following my instant investigation properly and you are following these use cases 100% you will select guys is it clear or not yes sir yes sir yeah yes sir okay tomorrow morning class is there at 8 o'clock so i given on assignment as well tomorrow evening class we can discuss that one is it fine okay sir okay sir okay guys okay, thank you so much and see you tomorrow okay guys good night good night sir good night